you know when he was born? He was three when she told me. Nigel, why did you go along with it? Oh, how do you think? For his sake. Her sake. Your sake. I was embarrassed on top of everything. He was my son by then. I loved him. I was snookered. You should have told me. They told me out of it. I hope you had it out with him. Holland, for what it was worth. Remember that barbecue when my sister come back from New Zealand? Said he felt sick and he had to go home. He had food poisoning. Food poisoning. I put the fear I got into him. He almost wet his cords. And I knew nothing. Look at you. No, look, I appreciate that. All the money in the trust fund should have been yours. I made him pay it, though. Our finances never did add up. That's joint club. So, what about Alex? After we split up, she stopped me seeing him. And I stopped trying. Oh, what a mess. How is he? Same. Trouble. <laughs> Will you tell him? Do you want me to? I don't know. I'm in shock. I... You sit down. No, I, I should be going. I, I'm keeping you. I'm sorry if I went about it all wrong. Oh, you didn't go about it all wrong, Nigel. They did. Kathy, say hello to him. I will. What's so good about them, anyway? Well, nobody's doing anything like this, not in the mass market. I'm not surprised. Who wants to look like a Dickensian prostitute? <sighs> That's the appeal. What, wearing a 200-year-old corset? It's vintage. Are you sure you don't want me to come with you? Based on this conversation. Mm. Hey, 38 years I've been in this business, not once have I ever heard of anybody got a bed dressed as Lily Langston. <clears throat> You've lived a very sheltered life. Good luck at the trade fair and enjoy your break. Don't do anything without my blessing. As if I would. the way you looked at oh, him. Why? How did I look at him? With a hint of longing. Oh, please. Yes, you did. Oh, ignore her. She reads too many books. I don't read books, me. All right, then magazines. <laughs> I still think you like him. I do not. Oh, come on, Audrey. Oh, I am so sorry, ladies. What do you two think? I think you give him another chance. I disagree. Oh, OK, OK. Now, listen. I do like him as a friend, but there's nothing more than that. Mm. Oh, oh, what's up? Mary, can I cook tea? She's staying late tonight to finish her induction. You need to deal with this. Now, have you got everything you need? Yeah, I think so. I've got passport, adapters, euros. What about that mosquito spray I gave you? I don't think there'll be many mosquitoes at this time of year. Hey, you never can tell with them little beggars, especially since referendum. Go on, get in, it's getting cold. Johnny, have you got tickets for the tunnel? All sorted, Rita. Mm. I wish I was going. Uh, not to Bournemouth, to France. I'm looking forward to the trade fair. Who'd have thought, Jenny? You at a trade fair. Eve. 
You've come a long way, lass. Hmm? See ya. Thank you. So she says that she's done with romance. Don't worry, you got the message. You no, know, except she isn't. You see, that's the problem with you lot. You say one thing, but you mean another. It's like when Fizz says to me, go down the rovers, see if I care. What she really means is, don't go to the rovers. <laughs> but I reckon if she thought that he was genuinely ready, she'd be well game. You think you should have another crack? Mm -hmm. Maybe just, you know, plant a couple of little seeds. Just don't say I said out, yeah? As if I would. Elton John was not in the Beatles. Thank you. It's a little known fact. It's far too young for a start. He played on the piano. I'm sorry, Alex, it simply isn't true. Look, I don't care about the money. Now I understand how you've had so many fancy holidays. Who are you on the phone to? We've tried calling you numerous times. Who was that? Your mother. I've burnt my arm. Why do you leave him on his own? What did she want? Nothing. Is everything all right? Where were you? I was out, OK? We tried to phone you all day, but you never answered. Just go upstairs, please, will you? I'll be up soon. I'll make you something to eat. What is it? Kathy, it won't be any help. Right. Well, I'll just go and get Alex's tea, and then perhaps you'll explain yourself. And uh, when will these flats be built? Not for a while, but we can find her somewhere to live in the meantime. Us? She can do the looking. And who will do the paying? You know she has a cash flow problem. Then she should ask Tarek. The man's a waste of space. Oh, get a job. She may be my oldest and dearest friend, but I don't feel a burning desire to fund her entire future. I've already got two grandkids. I don't have a need for another responsibility. She's been good to you. What about when you had your tonsils out? She drove you everywhere, uh, waited on your hand and foot. I paid for lunch every day. Swings and roundabouts, my dear. Is he? In his room. He's had an extremely traumatic day. Oh. Has he now? You're disputing it? Well, not compared to me, he hasn't. Aren't you going to ask me what's wrong? I attempted to. Oh, oh, did you now? Because I thought you just took one look at me and then trotted up here to make his tea. You're upset. <laughs> oh, bravo. Good spot. You really are on form, Mr. Cropper. As am I. What have you got to be upset about? You left him on his own to look after the cafe. Because I thought you were due back any minute. Are we going to harp on about this all night? We have spent the entire afternoon at the hospital. You don't appear to care a jot. He burnt himself on some leek and potato soup. Then he should be more careful, shouldn't he? Cathy, what is it? I've been to see his father. Alex's. What for? Ah, uh, the flat. Nessa. <laughs> Nessa, Nessa, Nessa. She's always been the same. Ever since I first hatched, she's always had to rub my face in the dirt. Everything I had, she had to have. My records, my clothes, my husband. She stole my roller skates. Did I ever tell you that? Yeah, yeah, I was nine years old. And instead of owning up to it, she chucked them in the canal. <laughs> he didn't have the money because he said it was none of his business. Because that lad's real father is lying in the ground. <laughs> Really? Sounds like the ball's in your court. Of course, uh, Kev's your man for the old romantic gesture. I've had my moments. Like what? Loads of stuff. Yeah, well, give me an example. 
I can't think off the top of my head. <sighs> she won't change her mind. Maria thinks she will. Hey, didn't you say you got an old sidecar at home? Mm hmm. I haven't had the tarp off that in years. Why? Oh, I think she'd be up for that. You know, give it a good hose down. Audrey Roberts in a sidecar? Yeah, don't you think? Oh, yeah, I reckon she'd be bang up for that. Are you two winding me up? No. Not at all. Hey, guess who came into the kebab shop today? I gave up. Big gaff in the market. What did he have? Oh, now you're asking. He had a chicken donner, two large chips and a chilli burger. Shouldn't he be back by now? Uh, yeah, he'll be here in a minute. Did you give him a discount? No, but I was generous with the portions. I do like her, right? I just lost my nerve. So tell her that. If Sadie's mate mm. hadn't been there, mm. I wouldn't have panicked. Mm. Mm. Uh, mm. I don't like being single. No, neither did I. Oh, I won't mind it for a day. Or a week. ta -da! What's this? It's chicken curry. We don't like curry. How can you not like curry? What do you mean, how can we not like curry? That's well racist. It's Friday. Mayo's does us fish fingers on a Friday. Have you ever heard of Fish Friday? Try your curry. It's horrible. You haven't even tasted it. Can you do some fish fingers? There's some in the freezer. I made this from scratch. No, you didn't. I saw a jar. Oh, well, on this occasion, I didn't, but... What's for pudding? <laughs> you don't get pudding until you've finished your main. Are you in us fish fingers, then, or what? I wish you'd taken us with him. I knew. Not really. I'd be rubbish in a meeting, me. I wouldn't want to say. It's our work, though. There was this one time I took Michael to the market. Oh, yeah, girls. Big gap, Here he is. Huh? How did it go? Uh, yeah, yeah, not bad at all, Jess. Well, did they want them? Well, they seem to nibble. It's all really positive, so a big thank you to the both of you. And don't think this won't be reflected in your wage packets. There's a 50 quid bonus coming your way. Well, thanks. 50 quid? That's exactly what Carla offered. All right, then. 60. But they were our designs. It was our project. You can't just steal it. Yeah, steal it? Them designs are property of Underworld, and you know they are. I didn't have to try and sell them. So why did you? I well, thought you'd appreciate the effort I've gone to. You can learn a lot by seeing these things go into production. 50 quid's nothing to sniff at. Uh, 60. He's ripping us off, Sinead. Uh, that's enough. Uh, would you rather he didn't try and sell them? Uh, I'd rather he was honest. Do you know what? I'll see you all tomorrow. So where was I? Oh, yeah. Big gaff tied Schmeichel's in the corner of his stall, right? Fish fingers. And sticky toffee pudding with custard that I had to go out and buy especially. Only from the shop. Yeah, okay, that's enough, honey. So you don't make them fish fingers every Friday? No. I don't plan my menus round tired Christian cliches. They've had you at it. All right, kids, could you just please go upstairs and uh, finish your homework? We don't have any homework. Fine, well then, can you just please go upstairs and run yourself a bath? I had one yesterday. Do what your father says. Thank you. Right, uh, Mary, I, I have uh, printed out a copy of your uh, contract. Oh? Yeah, please. Yeah, and uh, uh, we uh, agreed that uh, during school hours you would see to all the children's laundry and ironing as well as preparing any food so as not to cut into the hours that you spend helping them with their homework after school. Yes. That's very good. Yet, you go and accept another job without consulting me. Mary. It's unacceptable. Oh, thank you. I think I'll leave you both to it. Oh, thank you. Mary, if my children amount to anything in life, it's because of you. It's very kind of you to say it, but I'm, I'm totally undeserving. I'll hand in my resignation to Tracy tomorrow. Well, OK, why don't we just see if we can make this work? This thing. Uh, just out of interest, Mary, do the kids like curry? Yes, of course. Chicken especially. <laughs> <laughs> Should we tell Ali our news or wait for Zidane to get home? Well, you're going to have to tell me now. Your gran and I have decided to invest in a new flat. And Sonia is going to live in it. You're moving out. Except it hasn't been built yet. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> I will be renting in the meantime. I haven't even seen the plans, but your grandfather assures me they're very pretty. 
The artist's impression alone. How nice for her. We're sorry you're upset about the underwear. I'm not upset about the underwear. It'd be a long-term investment for you and Zidane. And it'll be something else for you to argue over. <laughs> well, maybe I'll get lucky like you. Have somebody pay my way. Don't be so rude. Do you know, Maria, sometimes I think they'll never shut. Oh, I thought she was in it for the long girl, eh? I could have throttled her. Um, these scissors are a nightmare, by the way. Oh, yes, I'll get some new ones. Remind me tomorrow and I'll order them. Oh, do you know what? I never thought I'd say this, but I can't wait for David to get back. Oh, <laughs> me and you both. Mm. Right, I'd best be getting off them. You don't fancy the Rovers? Oh, yeah, do you back home? Oh, what I'd give for really high school gin to. <laughs> Wait a minute. You don't think... Hey, no, no, no. Go on. Look, busy. He's coming in. <clears throat> Would you be Audrey of, uh, Audrey's salon fame? Why? Who is asking? I've booked a table for two in a little country pub I know. Oh, Freddy. You really do have a cheek. I panicked, Audrey. I made a mistake. And friendship's fine, for now. But if anything should develop further down the line, who knows? Who knows? So, Grandma took me down for being rude to Sonia during tea. I noticed it didn't bother you. Who says? But you didn't say a word. Your grandmother dealt with it. Being rude to guests. You'd normally bite my head off. Go upstairs. She's trying on some of Grandma's clothes. I could hear Grandma laughing. Look, you know, I thought it was all coming from her, but I've seen the way you look at each other. You had your hand on her back when you thought nobody was looking. Nonsense. If I was. You need to stop this. I will. Where are you going? To tell Grandma everything I've just told you. Wait. No, she doesn't deserve to be made a fool of. I'll tell you the truth, but please leave your grandmother out of this. Something happened years ago, just once. I thought you just fancied each other. It was just once, years ago. You had your hand on her back. I'm afraid of her. I don't know what she'll say or do. I'd rather she was a million miles away from here. Plus, he thought you'd buy her a flat. I'm buying you the flat. She'll just live in it for a while, that's all. Your grandmother will be devastated. Think of the gin and tonic. Maria, help me. <laughs> Go on, Freddy lad. There ain't no wheelies. <laughs> For a minute there, I thought that was Audrey Roberts in that sidecar. It was a moment of madness, and I've regretted it ever since. Sonia turning up here out of the blue. My worst nightmare. We were going through a bad patch. It meant nothing to me. Truth is, I can barely remember it. But she can. This family's been through enough. Don't destroy it completely because of something that happened years ago. So you want me to keep your secret? I love your grandmother. And I trust you love her too. She asked Sonia to move in. I didn't want her here. I'm trying to get rid of her so we can get back to normal. Please, help me. Let this pass. Well? I'll let you know. touched it. He was frightened. He didn't hear what I said. He didn't hear anything at all. Perhaps you could comfort him. He's been asking for you all day. I'm not his mother. 
I fail to see what relevance that has. You're his aunt. You've always been his aunt. That isn't going to change. Oh, I, I quite understand the urge to take it out on him. Me, even. But the fact remains, this isn't his fault. I know it isn't his fault. And then perhaps you could stop punishing him. I can't help how I feel. Neither can he. I'm going to bed. Would you like me to make you some hot milk? No, Roy, no. I would not like you to make me some hot milk. I would like you to make me feel better. I I'm sorry you've had such a shock today. I... Uh, still, I knew what I was getting into. <laughs> Good night, Roy. Good night. Well, it's another extraordinary adventure around Joanna Lumley's Japan next. It's the last in the series. While on Sunday at nine, can the Queen and Albert prove his worth? There are a lot of people out to discredit him, it seems, as our brand new drama, Victoria, continues. Victoria.